this video is about the ideation and the repudiation of the terms of the will or a will and the consequences thereof. Now, ideation is the election by a beneficiary to accept the benefits conferred upon him or her in any testamentary disposition and the legal consequences of acceptance must be explained to the beneficiary. Now, the beneficiary must then sign a deed of ideation, which should contain a certificate by an attorney confirming that the consequences of acceptance and rejection of the terms of the will has been explained to the beneficiary. And then after such explanation, the beneficiary has deemed it convenient to accept the terms of the will. Conditional or partial ideation is not permitted in South Africa, unfortunately. And then repudiation is the opposite. It is the election by a beneficiary to reject the benefits conferred upon him or her in any testamentary disposition. The legal consequences of acceptance or rejection must be explained to the beneficiary again. Now the beneficiary must then sign a deed of repudiation which should contain a certificate by an attorney confirming that the consequences of repudiation and acceptance of the terms of the will has been explained to the beneficiary and that after such explanation the beneficiary has deemed it convenient to repudiate the terms of the will. Conditional or partial repudiation is not permissible in South Africa. Now, consequences of ideation and repudiation is that in terms of ideation, once the survivor accepts the will, massing of the joint estates takes place and then the survivor it loses his rights to the assets that he contributed to the massing. The disadvantage of massing is that the surviving testator will no longer be able to alienate or mortgage the property massed. He will also lose his ability to vary or revoke the joint will relating to his share of the messed estates. Now, if the surviving testator then repudiates or repudiates the joint will, the will shall only have the application over the estate of the deceased testator, and the surviving testator will not be allowed to receive any benefits from the deceased testator in terms of the will, and shall keep his own estate, which he may alienate as he wishes. Now, I am going to just give you guys a few examples of clauses which affects massing of estates in a joint will. The first one is that you will add, we provide that when the first of us dies, our respective estate shall merge as one estate, which we bequeath to our children. The second one is that we consolidate and mass our respective out of community of property estates and appoint the children born or to be born out of our marriage to be the sole and universal heirs of the master estates, subject to a usufruct there over in favor of the survival of us during his or her lifetime. Then you also have a partial massing clause which will state we hereby mass our separately held shares in ABC company PT while P LTD and bequeath the said shares to our children born out of our marriage who survived the first dying of us. We bequeath the residue of the estates of the first dying of us to the survivor of us. Then on our website we also have an example of a ADHN certificate as well as a repudiation certificate. Now, on our website, which is www.lawyerseasyfine.co.za, is the website where you guys will find such examples. And then, massing of estates involves, involves two or more testators who consolidate a portion of their whole or the whole of their respective estates and jointly dispose of the consolidated estate in a joint or mutual will. This is subject to the survivor receiving a limited beneficial interest in the estate, such as a FIDI commission or a usufruct. Sorry if my Latin is wrong. Um, massing will then take place when the survivor of them accepts the terms of the will, that is, when the survivor ideates. Now, a FIDI commission is the owner of property or the owner of property transfers that property to another person subject to it being transferred from that person to another person at a later stage. Uh, usufruct enables the holder of the rights to use the certain property belonging to someone else and to enjoy the fruits subject to the condition that the substance of the property be maintained. 
Now, the estate massing is referred to in Section 37 of the Administration of Estates Act and should therefore be relied upon when considering the consolidation of two separate estates. Massing is not limited to only spouses who are married in community of property to each other and or any two or more, more persons can mass their respective estates. When there is massing of only a portion of the joint estate, the survivor is at liberty to make a will dealing with the portion of the massed estate or of the estate that has not been massed. Upon the death of the first dying testate, so the other testators will have an election to either accept, adiate or decline, which is repudiate the will. That is it for the consequences of ideation and repudiation of a will. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on our social media platforms, which is Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Stay tuned for more videos like this.